Algebra 2, set 109 more on fractional exponents. 2x squared y cubed z to the negative fourth raised to the second power um, is the same as saying 2x squared y cubed z to the negative fourth times 2x squared y cubed z to the negative fourth. So the solution to that would be 4x to the fourth y cubed, excuse me, y to the sixth z to the negative eight. It's the same as if you would multiply the exponents out up at the top. So if I have x squared plus y squared quantity squared, that should be the same as x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. But it's not. Definitely not. What you have to do whenever you have a sum that's being squared, you have to do, um, you have to expand it and then you have to multiply it out. So if you have x squared times x squared, that's x to the fourth x squared times y squared is x squared y squared, x squared y squared again, and then y squared times y squared, which is y to the fourth. So when we uh, combine like terms, we get x to the fourth plus 2x squared y squared plus y to the fourth. Okay, let's do an example. 2x to the negative one half y to the one fourth z all raised to the third power. Two to the third power is eight, x to the 1 half times 3 is x to the 3 halves. y to the 1 fourth raised to the third power is x y to the 3 fourths. Then we have z to the third power. Another example, expand x to the 1 half plus y to the 1 half quantity squared. So we'll write it out. We get x to the 1 half plus y to the 1 half times x to the 1 half plus y to the 1 half again. So when we multiply that out, we end up getting x to the 1, because x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half, you add, you add the powers, so you get x to the first power. Then we can multiply x to the 1 half, y to the 1 half, multiply again x to the 1 half, y to the 1 half, and then y to the 1 half times y to the 1 half is y. So when we combine like terms, we get x plus 2x to the 1 half, y to the 1 half, plus y. Okay, last example, expand x to the 1 half plus y to the negative 1 half quantity squared. So we'll write it out. So we get um, x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half is x. x to the 1 half times y to the negative 1 half. Then x to the 1 half times y to the 1 half again. And y to the negative 1 half times y to the negative 1 half is y to the negative 1 power. We'll combine those two middle terms. So we get x plus 2x to the 1 half y to the negative 1 half plus y to the negative one power.